Damn, Jan. Whoo. Welcome to Sparring Sessions. I'm your host, Connor Turnis. Um, I'm here to talk about Piotr Jan. Uh, just totally Mortal Kombat finishing. Uh, Aljamain. Aljamain Sterling. Poor guy. What a, what a brutal knee to the head. Oh, man. I think in Pride FC, that would have been legal. I think it would have been legal, but the UFC it has a rule: if your uh, if your knee is grounded, um, kind of like the NFL, if your uh, if your knee is on the ground, then uh, or touching the ground, then you're you're grounded. And um, w what that means, as far as the UFC is concerned, is you can't you can't sh uh, knee him to the head, a grounded fighter. Um, but, I mean, there's some controversy here because the title switched hands. Um, and, and, you know, Daniel Cormier, the announcer, he seemed to be fine with that because he's from a wrestling background. You can see how guys with wrestling backgrounds and jiu-jitsu backgrounds are um, influenced by, by how they think uh, fights should go on, based on technicalities like scoring. Um, and, and I'll talk about that uh, in, in the next video about the, the main event. But... Um, yeah, for, for this one, I, I think it's uh, it's insane to me that you would you would crown a new champion like if anything strip Piotr Jan of his title, strip him of the title uh, for for a disqualification, but but don't give the title to Aljamain. I thought Aljamain got beaten up. I I didn't give him a single round. Um, I I thought his striking was um, like he expended a ton of energy wasn't very effective, uh, especially his straight punches, especially his straight punches. I thought like his jab, uh, it looked okay at times. It looked like it was fast, but what he kept doing consistently is he kept, like he's, he's so much younger, uh, longer than Jan, but he keeps coming forward as he's striking. And um, maybe it's because he wants to wrestle that he's doing that. Like he just wants the guy to cover up so that he can shoot the leg. But as far as striking is concerned, he's not at his most effective range. So, um, like, I, I'm just I'm just looking at the angles he's creating for his punches, and there's there's no power behind any of them. Um, and he's throwing a lot of them, so it, it looks flashy, but it, it's not effective. E even if he had landed clean, which he didn't, because Jan, his his guard is always just so solid when he's covering up. Um, yeah, I, I just didn't see anything from, from Aljamain Sterling. I didn't see anything from him. And um, I thought it was completely one-sided. Once once uh, Jan started timing Sterling with counter shots, uh, Sterling would, would go for takedowns, get nothing, which, which was a shock. Like, it, it almost made me think that... Or, or I guess my analysis of, of, of Aljamain is that he's like this wild striker and then a jiu-jitsu guy. And, and so if, if you know jiu-jitsu, I mean, they, they train a lot on their backs and when they're already on the ground. So they have great submissions and, and a great ground game, but they don't, many of them don't practice like judo or wrestling or takedowns enough to, to actually um, get the fight to the ground against an actual wrestler or, or an, act, an actual judokan. So um, that, that's pretty much what it looked like. So, so Aljamain's just getting dominated on the feet. Um, Piotr looked like a, an elite uh, Muay Thai practitioner. He's just like dumping Aljamain at will. Like I've, I've never seen a guy get dumped so many times unless it's like in sparring with like maybe a newbie. Like a, you know, like just a massive gap in, um, in technicality uh, and, and physicality. Aljamain got dumped so many times like like eight or nine times. And then Aljamain was like one for 15 at one point on his takedowns. And he's supposed to be the ground specialist here. Like it was just a, a complete outclassing of Aljamain. And then you crown him as your champion. I think it, it's kind of an embarrassment, really. It's an embarrassment to have a guy get beaten up bad and then say, oh, well, you're the new champion. <laughs> like he didn't earn it. He didn't earn it. I, I, guess, I guess if it was a DQ... And and Al Jermaine had been up on the cards, then uh, then you could crown him. I wouldn't have a problem with that. But with with him just getting beaten up so bad and, and outclassed, like no one thinks that he's the best um, fighter in the world. <laughs> no 
No, no one thinks that he's the best fighter in the world at his weight class, right? Like clearly, clearly the other man is, is better than him. So, so I guess if you have to punish Piotr, so, so strip him of the title, strip him of the title. And then for the next fight, he's not going to get as big of a payday. Um, and, and that, that would be fair, I think. But, um, yeah, crowning Al Jermaine, it just, uh, just cheapens the title. He, he shouldn't be champion. I mean, he, he's got so many holes in his game, especially his striking game. Like, it, it looks like he's just using his strikes um, to set up his takedowns, and then his takedowns are nothing. He, he has no effective takedowns against Piotr. So, uh, yeah, he, he just... <laughs> just massive holes. Massive holes in his game, and, and Jan really exposed him. Like, that was a very one-sided fight. I, I know I know that... that um, some judges and, and, and analysts and fans might have been impressed by, by Sterling's activity or Aljamain's activity, but activity shouldn't matter. A activity, just activity alone shouldn't matter. If you're getting hit cleanly and you're throwing a bunch of pitter-patter shots, uh, th then, um, <laughs> then you're losing. Then you're losing. Like we, if we could like measure the, the amount of concussive concussive force transferred into each fighter's head, I mean, there would be a big gap between what was done to, to Aljamain Sterling's head and, and what was done to Piotr's, uh, Piotr Jan's head. So, but, but that was a gruesome foul. Um, like it is still fighting. And, and I, I understand that it's, it's probably in a fighter's instinct to, to land a shot like that on a guy who's, um, you know, wide open and, and not defending himself. Like he's, he, Al Jermaine at that time, he was not defending himself intelligently. He's just like sitting there right next to the guy's knee. Th this is supposed to be like unrestricted combat. And, and Jan's probably competed under different rule sets where, where that would be legal. Um, like that, that's, that's what I think. That's, that's why I think that that made sense to him, that, that attack. Um, but that just goes to show you that even UFC, like UFC loves to, um, or, or UFC uh, practitioners or fans, uh, fanboys, they, they love to talk crap about boxing and say, oh, you know, that's not real fighting. In, in UFC, we have unrestricted combat. And it's not unrestricted combat. It, it's definitely not unrestricted. And, and that's just one example of, of how it's not. Um, a guy can literally not defend himself at all and then win a fight, win a championship even. You know, it's just such a, a bizarre outcome, I think, to... <laughs> to give a title to a guy who got beaten up and outclassed that badly. Like, I, I did not see anything from, uh, from Al Jermaine that made me impressed against, uh, against Piotr Jan. Piotr Jan is clearly the, the better fighter. Undoubtedly. Um, yeah. <laughs> that, that, it's so bizarre. So bizarre. But, you know, we got uh, congratulations, I guess. I, I do feel bad for... Uh, for Al Jermaine. I mean, it's it's such a brutal shot that that he wasn't expecting. And and those are the worst shots, really. The worst shots are the ones that you don't see coming and you think you're safe. So he he had a right to think that he was safe based on the rule set, uh, which is why he wasn't defending himself. Um but yeah, that knee, oh man, taking taking that knee to the head is brutal. I hope he's okay. Um he might never be the same. That that's what really sucks for him is he, his his chin might be gone now. Like there there could be um, consequences down the road for for taking such a brutal shot like that. Um, like I, I don't I don't think he's like a. Uh, and I don't want to swear on this channel, but uh, <laughs> I I don't think he's less of a man for for not continuing to fight after taking a shot like that. Um, you know, he's been compromised at that point. And, and he, he would have been finished by Piotr. He, he had been beaten up already. Uh, he's gassed. He's beaten up. And now he has a major, major concussion. No way. No way. I would have stopped the fight if I were his corner. I would have just thrown in the towel at that point after taking that shot. Uh, save, save your fighter for another day. Save him from himself. If he's going to go back in there and, and wants to, you know, die on his shield like, like Deontay Wilder thinks he, he should be doing. You know, real, real men die on their shields. You know, how about how about you die for the right cause? You know, th there's a time and place for everything. And uh, and I, d I don't think the, um, you know, the UFC ring or the boxing ring is the place to die on your shield if it's a one-sided fight. 
if, if you have no chance of victory, then, then you don't die on your shield, uh, generally speaking. But, um, yeah, I can't even say congratulations <laughs> to, to the fighters because uh, one guy got beaten up, the other guy, you know, committed a, a terrible foul and, you know, might have hurt this guy permanently, illegally. Uh, so, yeah, it is what it is. I, I, I guess uh, uh, I'd, I'd rather be in Piotr Jan's shoes personally. I, I would have rather beat the other guy up really bad than, uh, than take any damage. You know, but you can't say congratu con congratulations here. There, there was no victor, which is why I think that the title shouldn't have changed hands or, or it should have just been stripped. They, they should just have a vacant title right now. And then, you know, then they can settle it how, however they want to at that point. That should have been Dana White's call. But, but I think there was, um, you know, state regulations might have played a role. Um, so I guess maybe they should change the rules so that we don't have this bizarre outcome where a guy gets beaten up and ends up the champion when when everyone knows that, that he is not the best fighter in the world that should not not happen ever um i, I don't care what the the justification is well alrighty guys uh I'll, I'll make another video discussing the the main event but uh you, you've just uh attended yet another sporing session with connor turnus you have a great day until we meet again